Good day! In this video, we are going to try and do question 3C, part 2 of the 2024 Demonstrate Mathematical Reasoning NCA Level 1 paper. This paper is worth 5 credit, and now we're going to recap what is happening in 3C, part 2. Okay? 3C part 1, sorry, 3C part 1, we were asked to find the equation of this line and we found that y equal to minus 1.5x plus 11.5. So we're going to transfer this into the next equation, which is part 3C part 2, okay? So what we've done, is we have transferred the equation, okay? y equal to minus 1.5x plus 11.5. So we're going to read the question now. A second line g has the equation x minus 2y minus 9 or x minus 2y equal to 9 because we're going to add 9 on both sides of the equation and that will put it as equation 2 okay the first equation is y equal to minus 1.5x plus 11.5 we want to make it y x and a number so what we're going to do we are going to plus 1.5x on both sides this will cancel out okay so y plus 1.5x equals to 11.5 that equation one and then we simplify equation two we want to make the same form we're going to just rearrange the formula minus 2y plus x equal to 9 so that becomes equation two so what we're going to do now we're going to bring this down okay or before that we to make it to eliminate either x or y the x and y have to be the same uh, and coordinate so the same number so minus two to get minus two we, uh, to get two we're going to multiply equation one by 2. So that equation now becomes 2y plus 3x because 1.5 times 2 is 3x equals to 23. 11.5 times 2 is going to be 23 and we're going to label that as equation 3. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring this down. Okay. Equation 2 down is minus 2y plus x equals to 9. That was the equation 2. Okay. So now to simplify, to find the x and y values simultaneously, what we're going to do, we're going to add equation 3 plus equation 2. So we add them up. 2y plus minus 2y becomes 0. They eliminate. 3x plus x is going to be 4x. And then 23 plus 9 is going to be 32. And to get your x, we're going to divide by 4 on both sides. So x equals to 8. And of course, once we find the x, we must find the y. We can substitute back either into equation 2 or 3. I suggest we do equation 3 because it's easier. So substitute x equals to 8 into equation, equation 3. So that becomes 2y plus 3x. So instead of x, we're going to put 3 times 8 equal to 23. Okay. So 2y plus 24 equals to 23 and minus 24 on both sides. 2y equals to negative 1 because 23 minus 24 is minus 1 and y is negative half or negative 0 0.5. So the point of intersection, because they want to find the point of intersection between the two graphs is going to be x is 8 and y is negative 0 0.5 or negative half and that is the merit in this paper. Go through this question again, and it's not too difficult. You can also use the graphic calculator to solve this by putting the graph and show the point of the section. So, wait, uh, do we'll do the next video, which is uh, the last video of the series, and I'll see you soon.